Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of My Bucket List Day. Today's episode is really more about a modification and a how-to. Uh, what I did is uh, spent a little time putting in a new workstation for Joanne and we basically remodeled a part of the kitchen to do this. So we mentioned several times before that we're going to start to do some remodeling. Uh, all of you have seen the desk that I put in the living room, taking out one of the couches and putting in my workstation, or my desk, and uh, as you know that turned out really well. And I'll show a little bit of a clip here from that, so you can just be reminded about the desk that we have there. Now on to Joanne's little workstation. Joanne had a lot of demands. She wanted a lot of drawer space or cabin space, and she wanted to have something that we could eat at when we're not. she's not using it as well as something that she could do her sewing on and our other types of crafts. So that's why she needed all the storage space. So I thought about it for quite a while, did a lot of measuring, and uh, bottom line, came up with what you're about to see. Sit back and relax and watch us go through this kitchen remodel in our RV. And uh, I think you're gonna like how it turned out. We are in the process. Of finally redoing the dinette area or in the kitchen for Joanne's little workstation. Yay! So here we are. I've already started to take the valance off and notice that they only put one bracket in, then put a little screw to hold that valance in up on the top. I always wondered why it was crooked, but now I know why. And anyway, we're going to take these side valances off and then we'll put the top balance is back on like that one's missing there it is right there upside down with the shade already in it so here's the side balances we're gonna remove those and these are a bit of a pain in the ass to move to be honest they have a little screw down here on both sides and then screwed up inside there but in order to get them off you got to take the whole assembly off and then take them apart and then put them back up. So that's how they come off. So on to the next step. All the valances are now off and the side balance things are taken off of them. There's the big one right there. Now it's time to put them back up. It's thinks that you got to take these all the way down just to get those side pieces off but you can't put them up later on they're screwed in no, here okay what are you doing exactly now Jeff? i'm taking the screws off that hold the table on this these brackets Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Don't lean on that. Oh, I'm helping. <laughs> I didn't think it would go. Okay. Don't lean on it. <laughs> I'm not. Tell you what, I'll hold it. <laughs> Once you get out. Not good at all. Yeah, put this end down on the ground now. You got all of that? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Done. Boom. Up. All right, here we are. Everything's cleared out. Side balances are gone, but the top balances are back in play. And the shades come down just like they normally did. So, now it's time to assemble the new cabinetry that is going to go in here. That's the next step. All right. So here's the cabinet. The cabinet. 
the first one to put together. So it's going to record me recording her. I can get put all the pieces apart. Yes, there's an owner's manual too. What do we do with those? Oh, we don't need those stinking owner's manual. We don't need me. Oh. There's all the drawer slides. Those are all the drawers right there. Need to be assembled. Side panels, bottom trays, and then sides. Let's get commencing to putting this together. Okay, here we are. Getting closer. And then we put another one in the middle. Smaller one, obviously. And I'll put my sewing machine in there. I hope. <laughs> we will see. Wait till you see what Jeff's gonna do. Let's jump. So big and open. Cha cha cha. Okay, so we have all the drawers assembled, all the carcasses assembled, and now we're gonna put all the drawers in and dry fit everything and get ready to measure for the tops and then the swivel tops and the slides. So this is going to be a top that slides out so you can sit at it and eat at it. Then goes back in and it's just a regular countertop. And it's also going to have some swivel tops that come out. They're going to be hidden but they'll come out so it'll be like L-shaped so Joe can do all her crafts. So we'll show you all that as we're building it and installing it. So exciting. Making progress. Look at him go. And in place, of course, I don't have the tops on yet. I'm gonna go to the store and buy the material to build that. But nine drawers. Nine! How excited is Joe gonna be with this? And what's cool about these drawers is they stay closed, but also they're the self-closing or quiet closing or whatever type of drawers. So that's kind of cool. She'll appreciate that little added touch we did here. We're not done. We're going to get up there soon. <laughs> <laughs> now she wants cabinets all the way across, but I don't of think there's enough I room. Of course I do. <laughs> up here, up here. <laughs> but now, that's it. Until... For today... And we're going to go get materials to finish what you're doing now, Joe. <laughs> Hugging my colors. Those are the colors we're going to be bringing in? Yep. That's my white and beige. Yes, because yep. we are going to repaint all of this. Yep. That's going to stay white. All of this is going to be changed. Yep. Blue and white. Just a little whites and the blues. A little and bit of beige, a little bit of gray. Yep. All right. Recording. So what are we doing? Hey everybody, so I'm adding some trim to the bottom to lift it off the floor of this, uh, that's not quite a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch. And I made these strips and I'm putting them on all along the bottom here. And just air nailing or bed nailing them in. That way, it's uniformly off the floor and we'll do this next one. I already pre-cut them so you didn't have to And I've already screwed the cabinets together so they're completely square to each other. Now all, you, all we have to do is put the drawers back in and tip it right side up, or up correct. But before we mount it, we 
gotta put some quarters in the back. And we'll get to that next. So I'm putting a 2x4 here as a spacer, and the reason for that is this outlet. I want to make sure I have enough room to have a plug go in and outside the outlet. So we have plugs with 90 degree plugs on them. So with that 2x4 there, that should be enough room to get to it. Now, some of you might say, well, you should just cut a hole in the back of the cabinet that's in the same spot of that, so you can just have a regular plug. Which is what I would say. Right, but the gap between the drawer and the back of the cabinet is still not enough. If I did that, then the bottom drawer wouldn't close all the way. So we're going to do this. However, I'm still going to cut a hole in the back of the cabinet so you can access that outlet in case you need to service it, in case you need to change a power strip or something of that nature. Got it. So, but it's not going to be there for plugs to come through. Okay, so I have two inch screws, inch and a half wood, supposedly an inch thick floor. Hopefully we won't go all the way through. Done. Kaboom. Kaboom. All right. I know it looks like we haven't done much, but they are completely installed and mounted and secure. And you can see me pulsing. There's a rock solid mounted. Two by four spacer back there. All the way across. And the gap I have here is where the cords are. Now the first layer of the top before the slide will have a little door that opens up here so you can plug and unplug things. And then there will be little holes on each corner to run cords as we need it. But that's it. Side project. Well, I put this in. A little power supply. I ran outside because installing a ring doorbell. So I haven't siliconed it, but I have it coming through here and then going up through the bottom. So, gotta finish that up and then I'll silicone that up and that'll be done as well. But I thought I'd do that before I mounted everything. So I had power out here for the ring doorbell. All right, so all I have left to do now is the countertop. This is gonna be the base countertop as I mentioned and then on top of that will be one that slides out. So Joe can do her work and sit at it like a desk and we can sit at it to eat but otherwise it'll be closed up and it'll just be a nice little work area. Probably a catch-all for all her junk too. Okay, have the sub base cut and fit. It's not attached yet because I have to drill the uh, holes in for the cords to the back of it. But sadly the loads did not have all the parts or the material I needed. So I had to Frankenstein this. And then there's another countertop that's gonna go on top that's gonna slide out like a drawer. So that's it so far. It's looking good. But now we'll go out and uh, get those holes cut. Okay, everyone. So we have the counter that is, and look, it slides out so we can eat at it or Joanne can work at it. Add lots of room. And then... Oh, and we put holes here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so cords can come through. And this lifts out so we can get to all the cords. And the extension. Yeah, this is not finished yet. We'll finish that up with some trim. And then we have... Then we got all our drawers. <laughs> My red Oh. And look, they're quite easy closed I drawers. I can't slam drawers anymore. Yeah, you can't slam these, honey. Just in case, I need three pair of scissors for four and all my thread. Okay, closer. Quite close. This job is done. 
Cha-ching! A remodeled slide out. We got the new seat covers done. All right, welcome back. So, what did you guys think? You may have noticed there's not this swing out uh, part of the top as she requested. Um, I was halfway into building it and showed her how it was going to be and after she saw it, she's like, nah, I don't think I like that. So I had to redesign the top again and take out that little pivot. I was actually designing and gonna make a little uh, pivot hinge that was gonna allow it to swing out on both the left and right side, but that saved me all that extra work. So I was appreciative of that. Uh, it still rolls out nice and uh, slides out, I should say, so she can have a nice area to sit at and then slides back so it's just a nice little area to put her stuff and do some craft and things like that. And as you see with all the drawers, she's got the nine drawers nice and deep and uh, should satisfy everything that she needs to do with that craft station. So if you're thinking about building a craft station or some addition into your kitchen, we'd love to see it, love to hear about it. You're probably all wondering where Joe is. Well, Joe's getting ready. She just didn't have time to get in this video. She's getting ready because we're about to make a trip. Another trip, but not in the RV. And it's a surprise on where we're going. You'll see that in a future video here. But she had to get ready for that. So everything is okay with Joe, all fine. She's just very, very busy running around. So I thought I'd come out here and just finish this one off myself. Like always, don't forget to do all those things. Be that click monster and like, subscribe, ring that bell, all that kind of stuff. So we really appreciate all of your help in the algorithms and clicking all those things. And if you want to do a little bit more, don't forget that join button is there. So thanks again for watching. Make it a great bucket list day. Goodbye. This is complete. Ready? Yeah, pull her up.